Jesus. I know, but I'm just so f***ing angry that we literally got f***ed over 18-0. Like, I was confident as, I'm not even going to lie. We would have started a ball game next. Scene, wicked and mean, you know the jump shot clean, keep it a beam, hand in the lane, baby flow the soft with a lean, and when you put me on the block, call me the dream. Woo doop, it's ya, boy, you don't know brutal, sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is man y'all been going crazy for your boy y'all been going hella crazy man i do appreciate all the love and support y'all been coming through my streams y'all been liking up the videos man bruh yo y'all know what it is by now man i'll give y'all five seconds to like up the video i know y'all got your boy i know y'all got your boy you know what it is man brew squad we in the building but anyways, man, um, I just watched Ticino. I just watched Ticino play a wager for a twenty thousand dollar pot. Twenty thousand dollars. Now these dudes were good. They were playing against two Chinese dudes, right? These dudes were good, man. But when Ticino finally got his momentum, they had a game. He went up eighteen and zero. Guess what happened, y'all? And I gotta respect your wager culture. I gotta respect wager culture, bro. But they got D dust out of the park. The entire park got D dust. He got kicked out. A lot of people always talking like, "Oh, this is just an Xbox problem." Heck, no, 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 stop. This is one of 2K's biggest issue going forward, and it's gonna be going forward to next gen because it's so easy to do this to D dust. Or just lag out the entire park how is 2k gonna address this how is xbox or ps4 or, or, or playstation gonna address this issue like i respect wager culture i ain't gonna front and this is the thing right so they got didas when tyson was up 18 or both of him and his teammate had the takeover right takeover now there was a difference because they went back and we did the same thing kinda kinda right because after they get the they got rules they gotta give them back the points get them back the takeover pretty much try to set them in the same position they were in before they got DDoS out of the um, park or out of the game but the problem is this on the last shot for Ticino to hit 18 points he didn't hit a green so he didn't have that green machine going and that made a whole lot of difference that threw off his momentum then the next team got us got to stop got to stop came back and won and closed out the series y'all and i think that game could have definitely be could have been a momentum changer so basically those buddhas kind of cost Ticino a $20,000 pot you see the type of money these people are gambling yo I don't even want to go to the ante up right now I went to the ante up on the 1v1 court recently that y'all might be looking at the gameplay in the background I went there on the 1v1 court and just guess what happened when people think you're winning too much on the 1v1 court they are frying the server they're trying to look for your gamer tag to boot you because I don't know by now. If you get ever get booted or someone pull your IP, they usually store it on a website. I forgot the name of the website. So they usually go on the website, type in your gamer tag, and pull up your IP so your IP is safe. But someone like me, I got off. All I gotta do is set my router. 
and my router automatically gives me a new IP because I got a dynamic internet, right? I got a dynamic IP, so it changes once my router resets. Now, a lot of people don't have this. A lot of people, you gotta go to the to your um internet service provider, and then you gotta call, and they gotta come and give you a whole new thing, and it, it's a long process for most people. So when I got booted, all I had to do was reset mines and I was good for the rest of the day Then I went to the 30 game streak. But for most people, your IP is stored or even if they could literally join your park or your ante up and fry the servers or hold the servers, 2K got a big issue. I don't know how they're going to fix it because a lot of big companies been dealing with this issue. Now 2K got to probably look at what some of these companies are doing to kind of protect their server from getting ddos because you don't it's not a difficult thing to do it's not the hardest thing people think they're good or hackers but no you're not hackers for doing this this is actually not hacker stuff <laughs> to be quite honest and this is a huge issue going forward i think wager culture i respect y'all I respect y'all for putting money on this game. I respect y'all. Beside all the things that 2K have in it to kind of throw you off and piss you off. Y'all still going up against booters who just, some people sitting at their homes that never touch a female and just, you know, ain't really understand the true value of life yet. You know what I mean? Like, because I don't see why you just sitting down. Taisido is up 18, 18 and oh, you decide, nah, let, 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 let's fry this server. And this time, they probably feel pretty good about yourself because it definitely contributed to him losing a twenty thousand dollar us pot i'm sorry man that's some serious money for me right there <laughs> i know that might be chump change for y'all all right but let me know what y'all think man i don't know how 2k gonna deal with this man let me know if you got any computer people in the comment section um, what what are some recommendations for this man because this is gonna be a huge issue going forward um, a lot especially like this year is probably one of the worst year in terms of bullets man one of the worst year it started off really iffy with some of the events you saw people delaying servers and stuff like that and that was a regular a lot of content creators use booters and use people to hold servers to win events earlier this year we see the problem with having these people or using these people later this year where now they targeting p same content creators or people that do wages or just anyone that beat them like i literally was playing the park on stream literally was playing the park when a little like a really short streak and people was like nah bro what are you doing streaking what in the park for free how, what? Let me boot you. Let me fry your sir. Let me fry your internet. Seriously. Like, this is how corny these people are. And when you're dealing with corny people, I mean, they have they don't have to have much reason to be a cornball, man. Alright, so as I said, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what, how y'all think 2K uh, or Xbox or PS4 could tackle this. This has been a problem on both consoles. I'm tired of people acting like this is only an Xbox problem. In fact, only recently this became an Xbox problem. This has been on PS4 for a while now. Alright. So, but we need a solution going forward because 2K21 ain't going to be a lot of fun in the parks. Especially it's happening in Pro-Ams. I don't saw my guy Sid67 got kicked off. Uh, he was in the w WR, man. Pro-Am. Pro-Am. And people coming in his stream saying, oh, Sid's playing? Oh, oh, let me be a cornball and fry servers. Like, that's some cornball shit. I'm sorry. So everyone right now getting hit with it. Everyone. Once you're on the internet, my G, and you're playing against someone, come on, bro. These cornballs see opportunity. They're going to do it. They're going to start doing it to my career people soon when you start streaming. My wait, wait, you streaming my career? <laughs> let me fry your server. Because they're cornballs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. So I don't know if everyone gonna have to. And and I heard right, like VPN don't even save you that much from it either. 
I heard VPN don't save you from it. I heard you don't even have to get into a party because especially if you get, if you got fried once, you're gonna save your stuff on the servers. I heard even blacklisting your IP don't really save it because once they get you, once they get into your server, it, although you're blacklisted, once they get into your server or your anti up or wherever you are, they could fry the entire server. So what can we do to avoid this? Really? Even me, I could get fried, but the thing is, I would get a new IP, right? I would get a new IP. I'll come out there and they won't be able to pull up my my IP off of the they will probably pull up my old IP off of it and won't be able to fry me. But at the same time, once they join my park, they don't they don't mess up my park multiple times. And what I ain't wagering no one, you know me, I don't gamble at all. I mean I enjoy watching it. I enjoy watching the pain. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Ain't nothing better than watching someone lose some thousands. I ain't gonna front with y'all. Me personally, I'd rather not. Alright, and I explained it already in the previous video. But what can we do about this? What are the solutions? Is there any solution? Or is this just gonna continue? Or we're gonna have to find these people and literally get them out of here? console ban them or something like that if you find out if you got any information you might have to start 6 9 these people right this is 2k this ain't real life you could snitch <laughs> i don't care like these are people i'm going 6 9 on them for real for real because at this point this is just ridiculous it's annoying as hell I i'm sorry like you know these dudes ain't got no life like seriously i seen lebron came on Wait, LeBron here? <laughs> nope. Boot. They boot LeBron. That's when they kind of draw the line for you, boy. Anyways, I'm not going to go into a rant. You see my LeBron logo on here, man. You all know what it is. I'm already getting heated for that already. Anyways, man. And, oh, yeah. And LeBron actually had your boy on Xbox, man. Let's see if I get a game with the, with the king. Oh, y'all better not let me play with LeBron out here. But anyways, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all know what it is. Your boy Sim. Y'all know I gotta keep y'all up to date. As I said, let me know if y'all got any solutions in the comment section because this is gonna be our problem. This is gonna be anyone that plays online, which is damn near all the game modes, is gonna be your problem. If you got someone who just knows your your um your gamer tag or PSN, they could pull it up on this website and it's gonna be a problem. Once they pull your IP once, that's all they need, it's gonna be a problem. Even if they don't pull your IP and they join your stage or join your server, it's gonna be a problem. And this is one of 2K21. We're talking about a lot of things that 2K created. Talk about some of the stuff that the community is doing. This is a major problem going forward and we gotta address it, man. But anyways, man. Your boy Sim, first time to the channel, make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy your sub. Subscribe. If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy Sim on love, respect, bless up. Peace. 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 Peace.